I'm doing excellent. All right, now now you're young, but you've been in this music business for for a while, haven't you? Well, I mean, I don't know if I'd call it the music business, but yeah, I've been performing and right. and, and doing music for for a while. I've been uh, I've been gigging, uh, you know, local restaurants and bars for about two years. Before that, I sang at my church and uh, was in musicals and stuff. Uh, so I don't know if I'd call it music business, but yeah, I've, I've been doing this for a while. Um, what does the voice do for you career wise? Where do you want to go and where does the voice take you? Um, I want to be I want to be the biggest band in the world. Uh, that's my goal. But uh, but yeah, the, the voice is a really unique opportunity. You know, in that I think it's a show that focuses so much on the positive that I think it attracts a really special fan base. I think it's going to allow me to reach a, a, a segment of people that I don't think I normally would. It's an unbelievable opportunity just to be able to show my music to people that you know an unbelievably large amount of people that never would in the first place. Now, what has your short time on the show already done for you? I think I've gotten like triple my Facebook likes. Probably, I think I went from like 100 Instagram followers to like 1,500. Um, Twitter, uh, like I think I went from like 10 to 1,000. Right. You're on Team Adam. What's he like as a coach? Uh, Adam, Adam, I think is the, you know, all the coaches are very different from each other. And I think Adam is the, he's obviously the rock guy. Uh-huh. Um, but I think that something that people don't, maybe don't know about him. Uh, is he's just he's really really focused now how much say do you have in what song you're going to be singing do they kind of say okay you're singing this song or do you say no I don't like that one I want to do this song how does that work yeah no if you don't want to do a song you don't have to do a song uh-huh. um, it's really hard to actually describe the song choosing process because there's once, you, once you're through the blinds there's you then there's Adam and then there's the producers and so there's like so many different lists of like people sending each other like hey this is the list of songs and then you'll send them a list and then they'll be like okay you know give us a smaller list or you know and then, then they'll be like okay this is what Adam wants to do okay. so it's really hard to describe the song choosing process uh-huh. uh, but yeah no it, it's been it's it's honestly like I can't complain I have gotten the best songs like so far I really like every song I've gotten now is there a point in the show where you say okay uh, I've, I've reached where I want to reach and it doesn't matter if I win or lose. It doesn't matter because I've, I've got to this point where I can take my career in a different direction and, and make it much bigger. I mean, you can never have too many fans, I don't think. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think there's probably a point where I, I would say I'm comfortable and I'm there's no disappointment if I get off the show at a certain point. I don't know what that point is. Well, we hope to see a lot more from you in the near future, Josh. And uh, I think I have a bright career ahead of you and hope things work out for you on The Voice. Thanks for talking to us today. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate it.